Welcome to Ensuring Your Well-Being. I am Dennis James, the Biking Dancing Insurance Man. And I am glad you're here with me today. We're going to have a great topic. And that topic is going to be about the types of annuities in the market today. And um, what it, they're meant to do is for accumulation, retirement, and legacy. All right, so those are the key topics right there. Uh, there are a lot of different types of uh, annuities available. And uh, a big reason for that is, you know, there's a major role in retirement planning. There's 10,000 baby boomers a day and uh, a population of about 76 million people that are in retirement years. And, uh, you know, there used to be a lot of pension plans out there. Now, um, they're more uh, what they call co contribution-type plans, and that's like 401Ks and 403Bs, et cetera. <clears throat> and um, so there's just been a decline in the defined benefits. And also, people are living longer, right? So as people are living longer, they have to have a source of income. And that's an ongoing stream of income, and that's exactly what your annuities will do. That's what they're meant to do, to be more safe and give you a stream of income. And we'll be getting more into that. You know, you can't really count on just Social Security today. Obviously, that's a great benefit, right, when you work your whole life, uh, put a lot of time in. And uh, it's for sure a, a, a nice benefit that is available, uh, you know, and you can take it out just depending, 62, 65, 67, and that changes, uh, you know, the younger you are. Um, but anyhow, uh, the other thing, you know, there's low interest rate environment, right? And we've been dealing with that for a while, right? So it, the CDs, money markets, uh, so that's why, um, you know, you want to think of streams of income for yourself. You know, it's important, obviously, to have money in the bank for emergencies and that type of thing. You know, but when it comes to retirement legacy planning, uh, annuities are a great way to do that. Um, and because it creates that safety and security. Now, keep in mind, I want you to understand that, you know, I deal with uh, life insurance, long-term care insurance, and annuities, all right? So I'm not a financial planner, don't want to be a financial planner. I have guys, that's all they do. That's what they are. You know, they have their series six or 63, uh, and, you know, they're guys that can put put you into different types of investments. So a lot of times those have higher rates of return uh, where your annuities really are not really set up that way because uh, it goes through insurance companies, insurance carriers, whichever, and there's hundreds of them out there. Uh, you know, now I will be eventually bringing on guys that that's all they do is they, you know, they have a securities license and, uh, when you need mutual funds, stocks, and that type of thing, they're they're a good go-to. Uh, you know, as long as they have the experience, and um, a lot of them do. All right. So with that being said, uh, annuities. Number one, it's a financial product, and um, and it goes through the insurance company. You know, it's it, it's meant to do a, two things really: accumulate money on a tax deferred basis. Right, and that tax deferral over a period of time is really important. All right, and um, then the other part of it is on annuit annuitizing for that stream of income. Right, so a lot of times uh, you're close to retirement and you want to have a stream of income coming in. Uh, that's a great. That's a a great vehicle that is meant for that and then there's the you know immediate annuities and we'll get into that more um, and then of course the deferred income annuities and you can have that with these variable annuities also all right now as far as deferred annuities 
Now, deferred annuities is just like what it says, all right? It's deferring um, the money you put in there, and it could be, uh, you know, it could be uh, putting in 25000 100 whatever that is, and then you can um, also run payments on it, right, where you're, you're taking money and you're uh, going to be putting money into it on a monthly basis, quarterly, uh, semi-annual or annual. And that can be anywhere from minimum five years up to, you know, 10, 15, 20, 20 plus years. All right. And that's how that, that deferral really works, right? Because you're not being taxed on it every year where you have to pay taxes on it. So that's the advantage of, of, of that type of a plan. And depending on how it's set up, you know, you're going to create, uh, w- when you annuitize it, that stream of income, and it can be a lifetime income. Now, you know, deferred annuities, like I said, you know, they have surrender charges. So when you put, those mo- put that money in there, don't think of taking it out, <laughs> all right? Um, they're not meant to take out because... You know, depending on the particular product, the uh, insurance company, uh, you know, they all have surrender charges, and uh, usually the minimum is 10 years, and it could go 15 years, uh, and and it's a sliding scale, right? So if you have it uh, and uh, you start taking money in the 12th year because you want to, you just feel like you need to do that, well, you know, it's meant to you're going to pay a penalty on that, all right? So it, if it, it could be 10%, all right, versus when you took it out at 15%. Uh, and usually those surrender charges end over a period of time. <clears throat> now, they have what they call crisis waivers, and what that is upon a death or a disability, hospitalization, unemployment, you know, those types of, when something like that happens, uh, you come down with the terminal illness or you're going to be in a nursing home, then you don't have to worry about those surrender charges, all right? But outside of that, it is meant for long term, all right? And so keep that in mind. Now, there's different types of uh, these annuities, like Fixed traditional, you might have heard of them, fixed traditional annuities. And that's going to give you like, you know, just depending on the insurance carrier, it's going to be like 4%. That all varies, or it could be like a 2% guarantee. All right. Now, we know that inflation is a lot higher than that right now. So, um, you know, with the deferral and all that, uh, that's the benefits of of having something like that uh, set up in – for you as the annuitant <clears throat> or uh, the owner of the policy, all right? So, and then there's the beneficiary, right? Upon a premature death, if you haven't really used it, uh, you want that to go to your beneficiary. And that's usually your loved one or spouse. And um, then there's what they call indexed annuity. So that has a little more upswing to it. It's still like a fixed annuity, but it uh, is tied to like the S&P 500 or it could be the Russell 1000, that type of product. Um, so there's a little more upswing to that. But, and, it, you know, so it could have a cap of like, let's just say 8%. If it ever went to 12%, well, they're going to cap it at 8%. There's participation rates and that type of thing. But those types of annuities do have a little bit more upswing, you know, but I, there's also some more charges in that when it comes to fees and all that, right? Because, um, so as an example, let's just say you have, you know, you have the money and you put it in there and it starts uh, at a, at a thousand uh, one year later, um, that period, that period ends. What will happen is you're going to um, maybe it earns at 1100. Uh, you, you could earn 10 percent on that. But let's just say that if it was capped at eight, you're going to get eight percent. All right. It, it gets more technical than than that, and I don't want it to sound that way. But, you know, when you're dealing with your in, 
insurance professional, that's the, the guy that's going to help you out, whoever your advisor is on that. Uh, let's see. And then there's also a reset. So that's what's kind of cool. So every year it resets, right? So whatever that period of time is, it resets and it starts over. Now you can move the money around different types of funds, um, accounts that way. <clears throat> but um, when you do that, and these are also tax deferred uh, programs also. So that makes it nice like that. And they call it zero as your hero, right? So, uh, you know, if when the stock market crashed, well, you know, you're going to get zero, but you're not. And, uh, you know, but you didn't lose 10, 15, 20% of everything you put away. All right. So that's the advantage of the security, the safety behind uh, an index uh, type product. And they are very popular today in the marketplace. And um, there's also, you know, that guarantee. But keep in mind, you are paying for the cost of all the administrative uh, that comes into that. And then the other thing uh, is what they call variable annuities. And variable annuities, it carries more risk, all right? And so that's like having your money, you know, uh, where it could be invested in like mutual funds. They have different sub accounts and that type of thing. And it, there's a higher investment performance. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to perform better for you, uh, you know, but again, it takes away um, the safety and and really, the owner is the one that um, is going to, you know, he's going to, he's part of that investment risk. So, you know, where with the other ones, it's more with the insurance carrier, all right, creating that safety. Uh, all right, then, as far as when it comes to annuitizing, all right, so you, uh, they have what they call immediate annuities. And that is something. Let's just say you have a lump, right? All of a sudden, you have a you you have a lump sum payment, and it could be from a a qualified plan. All right, so let's just say a four hundred one k four fifty seven, whatever it would be. Uh, maybe you came into um, you know you sold a business and you have cash and you want to be able to move it in to. Um, a hybrid annuity. Now, the thing with that, you're going to start taking an income right away. So that's going to be within a, one month, or you want to do it within one year. All right, no later than than that when it comes to having an immediate annuity. And then there's different terms on that type of a product. Okay, and so when I talk about terms, it could be where you have a that lifetime income. It could be a straight life term, uh, right? So you can get a lot of monthly income out of that, or it could be quarterly, semi-annual, whatever way you want it to be. Uh, and it's gonna gonna be there <clears throat> upon death, though, with with something like that. If <laughs> you know, it's gonna pay you for life no matter what. But if you die prematurely, let's just say in the fifth year, that money is that's it. That's 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 curtains right there. Um, and then there is also what they call uh, years, right? So it could be a term of, ten, uh, say, 15 years, 20 years, and, uh, and then it, the money would end at that time. Or you could have a uh, period is certain with life, all right? So it's going to pay less per month, but it if you outlive that, let's just say you take it for, 15 years and you live 25, it's going to continue to pay for as long as you're alive. And then they have with years, okay? So you could have the same thing there where it's, you know, so you have it for using that example again, 15 years, and um, <clears throat> it's going to pay for that, for the, that period of time for that year. And, uh, and then it ends. But if you have it, 20 years plus including life then it's going to pay out for as long as you're alive if you die prematurely let's just say in the seventh year with that or the uh you know like the uh, term term certain uh, it's going to pay the beneficiary the difference on, on that 
And um, also, uh, they have joint policies, so joint survivors. So it could be a husband and wife. And uh, the benefit there is uh, as long as you're both alive, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to pay out, right? So let's just say I uh, and my wife have a, that joint survivor. I die after 15 years, and she continues to live. So as long as she's alive, it's going to pay in income with that. So there's benefits to that. And then you're going to hear about hybrid of annuities, right? So a lot of them are like with just the annuities I talked about, all right, with the, uh, uh, the deferred annuities, the variable annuities, and uh, the traditional, the indexed annuities. There's a lot of them out there, right? So I'm going really broad with everything I'm speaking about here uh, because you could have t- you could spend – time on each one of this. I just wanted to give an overview on, on these just to kind of give you a basic idea. Now, like hybrids can work a lot, like I said, the same way. Uh, a lot of times these have the long-term care riders on it, or they have, um, it could be a nursing care rider, uh, you know, different types of riders on there that uh, kind of, they create a stream of income. It could be a lump sum income stream. Uh, you know, that, that way. And of course, um, a lot of people, especially with people living longer, having those kind of riders, I believe are important to have, you know, there's a cost for them, but, uh, if you don't have some type of a long-term care insurance plan in place, uh, you know, it for sure can have benefits to it. Uh, Medicaid compliant annuities, right? So, uh, I don't, even do these. I work with experts that do that. So when something, I just had that come up yesterday uh, where there's a crisis plan and, um, you know, a good friend of mine, uh, one of his family members went into a nursing home, right? So uh, what that is, it's a single premium annuity. It doesn't build cash value. You have to be going into a nursing home but it, when it's structured properly, it's a spend down tool. Instead of uh, getting into it, it eliminates countable assets, and it really is protecting and preserving assets for the uh, the countable spouse or community spouse. They call it. All right. So um, I have a video um, that's going to be going on my website for that, but, um, you know, it's not something I specialize in, but I for sure have the connections that can help you that way with that. Now, one of the things you have to consider whenever you have any type of, it doesn't matter what vehicle it is, when it comes to annuities, right, it's the same thing. It's, right, there are fees, there's administrative fees, there's commission fees, um, and, you know, all these riders have fees. If you surrender the policy outside of what I told you, that is exempt. Also, uh, if you go to annuitize, that exempts to the uh, surrender charge. All right. So death, disability, uh, and uh, annuitizing the, the plan. All right. Uh, the other thing, you know, um, things to consider is... Eventually, at age 73 today, all right, so the way that works is called required minimum distributions. And what ends up happening uh, when you turn 73, the government, they want to get paid, all right? They don't want you to defer these products forever, uh, right? They want to... um, you know, start collecting some money with that. And so that's where that required minimum distribution comes in. So as an example, let's just say that today uh, you turn, so what is it today? Today's the 11th of July. All right, today's your birthday. Congratulations. Now you have to, uh, required minimum distributions come into place. So what that means is that for that year, come the following year, you have to, uh, based off that amount, you have to start taking out a um, 
taken money out of that particular uh, uh, that savings vehicle, that investment, that annuity. All right, and it's all based off your age, you know, and um, uh, so so your age, the amount of money in there, and then they have what they call a mortality table, and so they they look at that that table, you know, how long uh, are you predicted to live, and um, and you and you take that out, and that happens every year. Uh, as long as you have money in there. Now, let's just say that you use that money, and um, it, it, it still has it's pay, it it still has um, money the interest in there. You're going to continue to pay on that no matter what. All right. Um, let's see what else. I think you know I I covered a lot of the topics. Um, one of the things, you know, you have non-qualified plans, you have qualified plans, right? So um, one of the things with non-qualified plans that in 2010, it was called the Patient Protection uh, Act came into play. And what that is, is let's just say you have a non-qualified annuity, all right? And you're not going to use it for anything. You're not going to need it towards to, to help you in your retirement all right, it's just kind of sitting there. One of the things you can do is you can take that and you can turn it uh, where there's no taxes on it because normally you would pay taxes over and above the um, what you put into it, right? So let's just say, yeah, you started at 50000 that's what you put in, and now it's worth 150. Well, you're going to pay taxes on that gain. And if you take it and use it towards a long-term care insurance annuity like that, and there are a few of them out there, it becomes a, what they call a 1035 exchange, and you won't pay taxes on it because you're using it for a long-term care insurance uh, upon in an event, right? So uh, it's very cool. A lot of people don't know about it. There's a lot of different insur insurance carriers that offer it. Um, there's one out there, you know, uh, Dennis James, uh, being the bike and dance and insurance man back background with, uh, martial arts. I, um, love the whole wellness side that this one particular, uh, insurance carrier offers. Uh, so there's benefits to, uh, that, um, outside of that, you know, you have to like look at the big picture when you take out a, a, annuities, right? Because they are more long term for accumulation, safe. That's the advantages of them. Uh, it does when you annuitize, it creates a stream of income. Uh, and right, so there's a lot of peace and security on that. A lot of people will have two, three, four different types of annuities and um, it creates that stream of income and you can set them up different ways. Let's just say you want one to kick in uh, when you turn, uh, when you're ready for social security or, you know, you want to have one, uh, you know, every, every two or three years. So you can set them up that way. And um, if you have any questions, I could be reached at, 248-393-3146. Uh, my website is variousinsuranceplanning.com. Um, so I'm going to be having, uh, in the future, I'm going to be bringing on CPAs, accounting firms like bookkeeping, uh, and different professionals, and because of wellness, I'm going to be bringing people that talk about that, and that could be with nutrition. Uh, you know, it may or may not be a topic uh, you're interested in, but what I would suggest is um, it's good to tune into it because what you put in your mouth matters. Um, you know, so uh, my wife and I, we try to pay attention to that. We're not angels, but I can tell you um, – being in my late 60s, I think because of the fitness level and the um, what putting in more organic nutrition in. So those are going to be uh, topics. 
Uh, last thing would be with the pickleball. You know, a lot of PI movement's a big deal. So uh, people talking about, you know, that are experts in pickleball and why it's important. And, you know, e-bikes are a big deal today for seniors and that type of thing, all types of people. Uh, and golfing, and I could go on and on. So those are going to be subjects I'm going to be getting into. My main focus <clears throat> is life insurance protection, long-term care insurance protection, and annuities, right? Safety, security for uh, retirement legacy, all right? Um, I want people to reach out to me. I also deal not only in the individual market, but I deal in the worksite market, all right? Meaning there are products available for the worksite. Uh, you know, not to get into that, but, uh, you know, because I'll have a separate topic on that, but, you know, things like critical illness or hospitalization, uh, you know, where it pays a... It, quick cash flow right to you, especially with the cost of um, hospitals and that type of thing, right? So you don't have to go into your uh, savings vehicles like annuities and that to pay for things. You're going to, uh, you know, these products are very inexpensive and um, sometimes there's no underwriting on them and there's benefits there. Uh, with that being said, uh, I want you to have a great day. And um, I'm always available. All you have to do is reach out to me. And if I don't have the answer, I have experts that have the answer. Again, this is Dennis James with various insurance planning. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Let people know about who we are and what we do. And make it a blessed day.